सो हे गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल फॉर ट्यूटोरियल्स सो गाइस टुडे आई विल टीच यू हाउ टू क्रिएट न्यू एंड अमेजिंग सीजीआई एंड वीएफएक्स एडवर्टाइजिंग एनिमेशन विद यूजिंग ब्लेंडर एंड आफ्टर इफेक्ट सी गाइस दैट्स माय रियली कूल इफेक्ट सो गाइस नाउ आई टीच यू हाउ आई क्रिएट दिस टाइप ऑफ एनिमेशन राइट सो गाइस आई एम नॉट यूजिंग एनी थर्ड पार्टी ऐड ऑन सो आई यूज ओनली आफ्टर इफेक्ट फॉर ट्रैकिंग सो गाइस आई शो यू माय आफ्टर इफेक्ट ट्रैकिंग फाइल सो गो टू ऑन हियर See guys, that's my After Effect and Preview and Play. Yeah, right. See guys, that's my After Effect tracking. So guys, now I create new project, new project check, and go to on here compositing, new compositing from footage. Guys, import your clip. Guys, you can download this clip link in description. And second one, guys, you can download project file, all project file from my website. It's free. Thank you. Okay. So now back to the work. So guys, select your clip and go to on here track. and track camera check see guys that's my 3d tracking guys take a little bit time for tracking okay so guys my tracking is finished and see guys that's my tracker points so guys now firstly i select this one flow so guys increase frame like this yeah and guys select only three points and right click set ground plane origin check and one more time right click create solid and camera check yeah So guys, go to back and preview and play. Yeah, see guys, that's my simple flow tracking. And now, guys, next one, I create tracking for this object. So guys, select your object like this. Yeah, and right click, create solid, and check yes. So guys, go to one back and preview. Okay, so guys, see that's my simple tracking. And now, guys, import tracking data in Blender. So guys, you have two option. Firstly. This one, that's my A E to blend add-on, and second one, guys, use JSON script. So go to one file, and I create new project, new check. So guys, select all and delete, and now go to one again After Effects. So stop. Go to one first frame. Here, guys, select your this one flow tracker, and select top four position and copy. So now create plane check. See guys, that's my flow, and Guys, go to one second one. Select second position, copy and paste. Simple. See guys, that's my second. And now, guys, next one. I take camera. So top two position, position or orientation, copy and create camera. Check. Yeah. See guys, that's my camera. And guys, starting from guys, see that's my automatically start zero frame. So shift frame like this. Starting from one second, press zero for camera. Now, guys, this time double click on this camera and focal length copy. Yeah. So, guys, select this camera and focal length paste like this. So, guys, go to one background image, background image check and apply same movie clip. So, guys, simple. Select this clip and import. Yeah. And guys, now opacity 100% check. Yeah, good. Okay, so guys, play. And lastly, guys, use same FPS. It's my 29.97 FPS. So go to on here 29.97, and go to on here and cycle render device GPU check. Sam 256. That's my render setting. And film and transparent check. Yes. Okay, so play. See guys, that's my simple tracking data. So guys, now select your flow and increase. So increase flow size and guys select this one and increase like this. So press zero. Yeah, good. Okay, okay. So guys, see that's not correct. So little bit change this plane position. So press three and guys add it mode. So select like this and guys scale. Guys in take shape like this. Yeah. Guys, I create flat. Yes, good. And now, guys, press zero. So, guys, click on here. So now, guys, smaller like this, and select this top face. Go to on here, and select this bottom. Go to on here. Yes, good. Right, and guys, alignment. See, guys, that's my rough layout. Only rough layout, and select this part. So go to on here. Yes, good. Right, see guys, that's my rough layout. 
and next one go to on here object mode and guys play yes see guys that's the simple tracking right it's simple okay so guys now i increase this plane size flow and increase like this so guys little bit front yeah okay so guys now again press camera and click on here wireframe guys i create this type of stairs this one so increase little bit plane size so go to on here and guys edit mode select this flow and right click subdivide it so guys number of sub like a 30 and i actually 40 is good yeah 40 so guys select this one selection select circle like this so guys select like this right guys selection that's my selection and more yes good right that's my selection and guys little bit up so wireframe check and little bit up little bit yes good right see guys that's my like a stairs type of effect good so guys this time more and guys select circle and guys unselect this face yes and little bit more yeah good right see guys that's my simple flow so guys now little bit back actually yes good see guys that's my simple shares okay so guys all is good and one more time play and guys right click shade smoother and play yes okay so guys my tracking data is finished my tracking work is finished and now guys you can apply any object so firstly guys i apply box so guys i create new collection and guys i already download box model so see guys that's my box model and append select collection and append yes guys increase size See guys, that's my Nike box. Guys, I download from Sketchfab. So select this box model and increase. And guys, rotate. Rotate like this, like a nine, minus 90. And attach on this plane, this one. And go to on here, like this, and up. Yes, and guys, little bit front, little bit. Yes, don't overlap right guys don't overlap so press 7 and wireframe check yes good see guys that's my simple object okay so now guys press 0 for camera and guys come alignment go to an up and guys now play yeah great okay so guys see that's my composition and next one guys i create box open animation See guys, that's my top and bottom. So guys, select this top face. Guys, I already changed this one. That's my segments axis. So I already changed segments. So guys, rotate. Go to on here. Rotate like this. See guys, that's my simple box animation. Okay, so guys, go to on back. And guys, now go to like a 40 frame. 40. Yes okay so guys now i increase frame so guys select this camera and frame i like 500 is good 500 yes and guys go to on 40 frame so guys i change this time box open box animation so z1 check and guys now go to on here like uh, 120 frames and box animation open box animation like this yeah good and guys check yes that's it guys so play yeah good right see guys that's my open box animation use sunlight so select this collection and go to a light and use sunlight so go to on here see guys that's my sunlight so rotate 
So guys, select your sun light and little bit rotate like this and more. Good. Okay, so guys, select the sun light and guys, trend like a 1.5, angle like a 20. Yeah, good. So again, render and render image check. Okay, so guys, my one frame render is finished. So close. And now, guys, compositing and use node check. So next one, guys, select your actually shift A and guys, use viewer. Again, shift A and alpha over. So guys, lastly, shift A and movie clip check. So guys, apply same movie clip. So guys, select your movie clip and import. So connect to first one and this one render layer, connect to second one. And guys, alpha over, connect to viewer. Yes, press V. See guys, that's my compositing. So guys, now again, render and render image check. Yeah, see guys, that's my compositing, right? Okay, so guys, now next one. This time I create shoe animation. So guys, go to a file and append. Guys, I have shoe model. So go to on here. See guys, that's my shoe model and collection check. So click on here. See guys, that's my shoe models. So go to an up. Yeah. Right. And guys, go to on here and random. So guys, use texture and wireframe uncheck. Yes. Good. See guys, that's my shoes. And now guys, I apply the shoe model on inbox. So guys, go to on here like this. And guys, select your shoes. Select object and press 7 and go to on here press 7 and guys rotate rotate like this so guys go to on wireframe yes see guys that's my model okay so guys go to on up so press 1 and up like this and guys go to on side so guys select the shoe model and shift D guys I apply more like this yes so guys little bit increase spacing yeah good okay so guys next one I increase this scale size shoe model scale size select all and it's scale size increase so press 3 and go to a back like this right it's simple press 3 and now guys shift d duplicate so apply on here like this yes okay see guys that's my shoe okay so guys now and guys select this one little bit spacing yes good okay so guys again select all object so shift d enter Go to on here and again select all. Shift D. Guys, Shift D is shortcut command for copy. And guys, lastly, Shift D, enter. Go to on here. Yes. See, guys, that's my lots of shoe. Right. And guys, now next one, I apply rigid body tag. So, guys, firstly, select your this one. That's my box and guys go to on here so guys rigid body check so guys go to on back first frame yes see guys that's my box so guys select your this one that's my bottom box and use passive and shape this one shape i like mesh right and guys go to on here friction 0 0.1 and bounce 0 0.2 Right, and guys, select this bottom front and rigid body check and passive. But guys, I check this animation because I create animation. So, animation check and shape. Shape, I like mesh. Mesh check. And guys, friction. Friction like a 0 0.2 and bounce 0 0.2. Simple. Okay, so guys, next one. Select this, this one, shoe. Select only first shoe model and rigid body check so guys type active right guys shape use convex hull check yes and friction 
फ्रिक्शन जीरो पॉइंट टू एंड बाउंस जीरो पॉइंट टू या दैट्स इट गाइस ओके सो गाइस नाउ आई अप्लाई सेम रिगेड बॉडी टैग ऑन ऑल शू मॉडल सो गाइस सेलेक्ट द फर्स्ट वन एंड गो टू ऑन डाउन लास्ट सेलेक्ट ऑल शू एंड गो टू ऑन हेयर ऑब्जेक्ट एंड गो टू रिगेड बॉडी एंड यूज कॉपी फ्रॉम एक्टिव चेक यस दैट्स इट गाइस so guys i apply same rigid body setting on all shoe model right see guys that's my shoe model and now guys go to on here that's my screen and gravity is good so guys see that's my rigid body world and go to on catch a so guys see that's my start from guys starting i like 40 yes and guys and i like 500 yes and bake guys see That's my heavy effect. So guys, take lots of time. So bake all check. Okay, so guys, my baking is finished. And now guys, press zero and play. And after forty second, it's fall off. Yes. Okay, so guys, now I forget this plane. So guys, stop and go to our back and delete bake check. So guys, select this flow. right click shade smoother and now same rigid body world and guys use passive so guys friction friction is good bounce are like 0.1 yes so again go to on screen and guys bake all dynamic check okay so guys my baking is finished and now guys go to on camera so press 0 and play yeah See guys, that's my really cool effect. So guys, next one, I apply wind effect. So stop and also go to one here. Delete back check and guys select all. So guys, I create randomly shape. So click on here and guys go to an object transform and random transform check. So guys, see that's my rotation like a twenty and y axis like a minus twenty. So like a forty five, actually forty is five. Yes, right. See guys, that's my shoe rotation. And guys, also I create wind effect. So guys, select this collection and use wind. So guys, go to on here. So little bit up and increase scale size and rotate. So rotate ninety degree. Yes. Okay. So guys, now. Select your wind and strength like a zero. So guys, go to like a hundred, hundred and wind strength check. So guys, go to like a I take two fifty and strength actually two hundred, two hundred and strength increase like a twenty. Yeah, guys, go to like a three hundred, three hundred and strength check. So guys, three fifty and Strength are like zero, yeah, good. See guys, that's my wind effect. Okay, so guys, next one, go to one back. Guys, my all animation is finished. That's my rotation and it's my wind effect. Okay, so lastly, select this flow. See guys, that's my flow. Rigid body setting type I like passive and shape I like mesh and friction and friction increase like a zero point five bounce zero point one is good. Yes. Okay, so guys, my all setting is finished. Go to on here. Lastly, guys, and output. So desktop, guys, create new folder and take any file name like a one. Accept check. So guys, go to on here and lastly bake all dynamic check. Okay, so guys, that's it. After baking, guys, create render. So guys, that's it. My final work is finished. So guys, if you like my video, please share and please subscribe my YouTube channel. Thank you.